untold fortune lies on the seabed in and around the Goodwin Sands, located off the coast of Deal. This area is possibly the largest ship's graveyard in the world, with 2,000 shipwrecks dating back over many centuries. Not all of the treasure is gold and silver. Much of it is of archaeological wealth and history, bringing alive the people of the past. At the height of the Great Storm, on 27th of November, 1703, four naval warships were lost on the Goodwins. When three of them were rediscovered in 1979, the government put a protection order on them to stop rogue divers from looting. The Stirling Castle, a third-rate man of war of 70 guns, was almost intact as she appeared from a receding sandbank. Her guns were still mounted on her decks and much of the crew's possessions were still where they had left them on that fatal night. After the initial discoveries, the shipwreck was again claimed by the encroaching Goodwin Sands. In the summer of 1998, a dedicated group of government-licensed divers found that the sands were again moving and exposing the wooden wreck of the Stirling Castle to the elements. The divers devoted many hours on surveying with hundreds of measurements taken before the tidal currents swept away any vital information. It was noticed that a large cannon, complete with its carriage, had fallen from the deck of the vessel and was starting to degenerate. On the 11th of September 2000, the group decided to rescue the cannon before it was lost to the winter storms. The cannon, which was a 32-pounder and weighed over three tonnes, was brought to the surface. However, it was too heavy to lift aboard the diving vessel and was lashed to her stern to be towed into the harbour. As the finance to preserve the cannon had not been secured, it was placed in Ramsgate Inner Harbour to stop it from drying out. When the money came in from the National Lottery, the piece of ordnance was placed in a fresh water tank to leach out the salt. After a year's submersion, the group successfully cleaned the concretion from the barrel and separated it from the wooden carriage. After a search, it was found to be a rare Prince Rupert patent piece. These were made from quality iron that had been specially tempered. Because they cost twice as much as an ordinary cannon, not many of them had been purchased by the Admiralty. It was then taken to the Mary Rose Trust at Portsmouth for preservation. When this was completed, they returned it to Ramsgate Maritime Museum, where many of the artefacts from the Stirling Castle were housed. Unfortunately, due to council cutbacks, the museum has been closed and it has since been returned to the Mary Rose Trust in Portsmouth. Thank you.